Hadley, who are we gonna draw today? Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket, yes, and we got a awesome, huge <laughs> pocket from Mattel. They sent it to us. Look how big that thing is. It's, it's huge. But Polly Pocket's supposed to be really small, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like your Polly Pocket, and this is your <laughs> magical pocket. <laughs> you wanna unlock it so that we can show yeah. our art friends what's inside? Oh, look at that. Now, in this thing, there's some secret compartments in here, and there's some cool toys. Do you want to open up this one, see what's inside there? Look at that. Whoa, magical. Whoa. Dude, pull it out, pull it out. <laughs> there's the Polly Pocket toy inside. This one's a swimming pool. Is it a swimming pool? That is a swimming pool. It's a flamingo that's also a swimming pool inside. Yeah, there's so little. And it's got all these cute little Polly Pocket toys. They're, they're super small. They're so small. <laughs> Look at that little chair right oh. there. <laughs> okay, open up the bottom. There's another one inside. Right this here. bottom one, yeah. Secret compartment right here where that bed is. Whoa, oh, check it out. Pull that pull it out and show our friends. I oh, can't. it's stuck. Uh. There you go. Like What's inside that one? An ice what is it? Thing. An ice skating. And then it comes with a little house. Oh, it's a cute little house. What's inside of it? What? What's the? Oh, it looks like skiing. It's got like yeah. a little ski lift. And there's a little sunglasses right here. Oh, and look, there's one more secret oh, trap so door. Real. There's a little one inside. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get these sunglasses what? off. Okay, Hadley, you gotta put these sunglasses on. And then I'm also gonna take this little, there's a little locket right here that we can take out. Oh, it's so dark. Look at that little locket. Aww. And I like your sunglasses. You want me to put this on your necklace? Oh, yes. let's see what's inside. There's nothing inside. It just lights up. Look at that. It's got a little light inside. When you press the button on the bottom, it Whoa. looks magical. Okay, I'm gonna put it on you. All Aww. right, it's got a little clip on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, and I, I did it backwards. I got, is it okay? Press the button. It looks it looks magical. Yes. It's going to turn you into a small little Polly Pocket. Yes. <laughs> Let's see all of the toys that came inside that huge pocket. We got this little one. It looks like a star, and it's got some, some music inside there, right? Yeah. Little little boom box and a, and a drum set. And look, she's got a guitar. <laughs> little little teeny guitar. It Can probably you goes open in. That? Yeah, I think so. It could go inside there. And then this one is uh, looks it's called Snowball Surprise Compact. And it looks like this house. And it's got a ski lift and a little igloo. <laughs> and look, this looks like uh, the little ski lodge where you can go to sleep and you can oh, also yeah. watch TV right here. <laughs> and then this one, this one is called Flamingo Floaty. <laughs> it looks like a big floating flamingo and it opens up and it's got a pool Whoa. and a lawn chair and some really, this kind of looks like a tree, a tree house, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, let's put these off to the side. We're going to open these at the end so we can take a closer look at them. But let's draw a Polly Pocket first. Okay. We're first going to draw Polly's little eyes. We're going to draw two circles towards the top of our paper. <laughs> and we're not going to draw them too big because we need room. So this is her pupils. Like right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Then inside, yeah, draw one more. Then inside we're going to draw a smaller circle for, for the highlight. In her pupils, so her eyes look shiny. And then color it in. Yeah, and then color in the big circle, but leave that small circle white. Then we're going to draw another circle that's really small, close to the pupil. This is for Iris, so we can color her eyes blue. And we're going to draw that same thing over here around this pupil. Yeah, perfect. Then we're going to draw the outside of her eyes, and we're going to draw a raindrop shape. So we're going to start right here. We're going to draw a little point. Watch this, we're gonna draw it towards the bottom of her eye and we're gonna draw a shape that goes over the top and then it comes around and then touches. Yes, and then it's raindrop shape, yes. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Draw a point, then we're gonna draw a U shape that comes around and then curves. It looks like a sideways raindrop. If we, if we did it like this, it looks like a raindrop. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Now on the top, let's draw another line that goes around that makes the outside a little thicker. This is for her eyelashes. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, make the outside of her eyes, the line thicker. Yeah, good. And then same thing on the other side. 
perfect. Now let's add three little eyelashes on the outside of each eye. I'm gonna do it over here on the right side. Three I'm little curves. More. Oh, you're adding more. I, I love eyelashes. Yeah, I know you love <laughs> you love eyelashes. Let's draw a sideways a U or a C shape. We're gonna draw it right here in between our eyes. Yes, and now we're gonna draw her smile. She's really happy. And we're gonna draw another one right below it. That's a U shape, another U that's smaller for her mouth. There we go. And then let's draw another curve inside for her teeth. Your teeth. Her teeth. And teeth. then a curve, a sideways curve right here for her tongue. And then let's color, you can color the left side. I'm gonna color the right side over here. That way her tongue looks curved. Oh. Yes, there we go. Now let's draw the outside of her face. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down for her chin and back up. So curve down like this for her chin and then we're gonna curve back up on the other side. Ooh, yeah, and then back up. You did it. Now let's draw our hair. We're gonna start over here over the right side of her eye. We're gonna draw a zigzag that comes down and back up. And then we're gonna connect all the way over to the other side of her head. Yes, now let's draw a curve that goes over the top like this and it's gonna look like it connects but it's not gonna connect. We're gonna stop it early before we touch. Now we're gonna draw a curve that comes down on this side and connects to the outside of her hair. Or the outside of her head, yeah. And then let's draw another curve that comes, watch this, this is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna come down like this, curve down, and then into her cheek. Yeah. And because we're gonna draw with piggy tails. Let's draw a curve that comes all the way down. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, and then curve into her cheek. Perfect. And then let's do the same thing over here on this side. Curve down. And then we're gonna curve back into her cheek. Damn. <laughs> now we're gonna finish her hair towards the end. Let's add uh, her body next. We're gonna draw two lines that curve out of her chin like this. We're gonna curve them kind of to the side and curve them the same direction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then one more. Then we can connect the bottom. This is for her waist or the bottom of her shirt. All right, now let's draw our legs. We're gonna curve the other direction. Looks like our body's <laughs> dancing. Like, yeah, kind of make an S, S. <laughs> S dance. <laughs> this is my S dance. S dance. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Then we're gonna draw the inside of her legs. We're gonna draw a line that comes up. It looks like an A. We're gonna come back down or upside down V. Yep. Good job. <laughs> now let's try our shoes. We're going to connect the bottom of each side of her legs. Then we're going to draw a U shape that comes out and back in. Out and back in. Her feet are pointed right towards us. That's why they look like U's. Yeah. And then one more. She's got cute shoes. Yes. Now let's add the details to her body. We're going to draw her, the details on her shoes first. We'll draw a smaller U inside. Each one, yes, and then one on the other side. Then we're gonna draw two lines going across for her shoelaces. And then we could draw, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the tongue on her shoe, the part that's stickied out. Good. Then let's draw the bottom of her shorts. We're gonna draw two lines on each leg. Then let's draw her neck. We're gonna draw a little U up here at the top, and we're gonna draw another one right below that one. Now let's draw her hands, or in her arms. We're gonna draw one that's coming out to the side. So just draw a diagonal line coming out. Then we're gonna draw the other side of her arm. I'm gonna start close, but then up here towards her shoulder will get further away, so her wrist looks smaller. Yeah, and then let's draw her hand. We're gonna draw a thumb first. Thumb? Yes, and then we're gonna draw a longer U for her first finger. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> then we could draw three more fingers and see if you can fit them in there. We're gonna draw one, two, three. And each one gets smaller. 
See if you can fit them. Draw them really small. There you go. One, two, two three. three. Yeah, and then connect it in just like you did. All right, now let's draw her other arm over here. And this one's going to be waving. So we're going to draw a V. It's going to come down and then bend back up. Yeah, and then we're going to do the same thing we did over here. Start close to her hand, come down for her elbow, and then in for her shoulder. And then let's draw her hand. We'll draw the thumb first. Okay. Yes, you got it. And then a longer finger for her first finger. Not too long. Not too long. And then we're going to draw three more in there to draw the rest of her hand. So three fingers and then connect it in. She's waving. <laughs> Oh, I love your little hand. It looks so cute. Okay, we need to draw her sleeves. Let's draw two lines right here and right here. Okay, now we're missing a few more things. We need to finish her ponytails. Let's draw our little rubber band that's on each ponytail. So a little square shape. Yes, one over there. Oh, she's going to look so cute. <laughs> now we're going to draw her ponytail. It's really long. We're going to draw zigzags like we did up here on her, on the top of her hair. So we're going to draw a curve, an S curve that comes out and then back in. Yes. Yeah. And then back in. And then we're going to draw a curve just coming this way. Curving that way. Yes. And then back up. Watch this. We're going to draw another curve that comes up. Now we're coming, and you can go behind her hand. Yeah, I love that yours is different than mine. Okay, and then we're gonna add one more little zigzag and then connect it into her rubber band for to finish her ponytail. There we go. Good job, you did it. Now we're gonna repeat that same step over here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out first, and I'm going behind her hand that's waving just like you did over here. So imagine it going behind her hand. Yeah, and then keep coming down a little further, and then zigzag back in. Then we're going to draw a curve coming in like that. Yes. And then I'm going to draw another curve coming back up. And we can imagine it going behind her arm and then connecting to her rubber band, her little ponytail. <laughs> okay, Hadley, we need to finish a few more things in her hair. Let's add some purple stripes. We're going to color them purple at the end. Like so we're... zigzags. Yeah, zigzags. Yeah, little, little highlights. So we're going to draw a little curve like this, a zigzag and then come across so with one little zigzag and then keep coming. Yeah. Then we're going to draw another one coming back this way with another little zigzag and then connect it in. Yeah. Little zigzag and then connect it. Perfect. Let's add a stripe over here. I'm going to draw a curve that goes up and back down. Yes, and then we'll connect those at the bottom. We'll connect that stripe at the bottom. Let's add a stripe on each piggy tail. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down with a zigzag and then finish. So little one little zigzag, just like we did on the outside. Yeah, and if we ever go too fast, remind our art friends what they can do. Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video if you need extra time to draw these stripes or if we ever go too fast. Okay, let's draw the other side of our stripes. We're gonna come up, do a zigzag, and then connect. Up, zigzag, and... Connect. Do this, let's do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna draw an upside down V, because this one is behind her hand. Then we'll come down here, draw a little line, zigzag, and a longer line. And then on the outside, let's just draw a line that comes up and connects. All right, let's draw, let's add uh, eyebrows. Let's draw a little curve above each eye. Okay, Henley, what's the last thing that she's missing? One of the most important things that Polly's missing. Her necklace thing. Yes, her cute little magical locket. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a curve that comes down and then back up like that. So it's a V down here at the bottom. We draw it really long. Then we're gonna draw a big circle at the end for her locket. Now, just like yours right here, see if you can, there we go. What's the shape inside? What a is heart. it? It looks like a heart. Let's Not draw like a gold medal. Thingy. A gold medal. <laughs> Let's draw a heart right in the middle of that circle. 
there. Yeah, we did it. We, if we want, we could add one little, a little purple stripe here to highlight. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing Polly Pocket. She looks so cute. Now we need to do one last thing. What is it? Color her. Yeah, we need to color her. She's going to look so much better colored in. Now this part, we're going to fast forward, but at the end, our art friends can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. coloring Polly Pocket. She looks so much better colored in. I hope our art friends at home, I hope you guys are going to do the same thing. Pause the video and then you can take time and match the same coloring. Do you think our drawings look better colored in? Yeah. Yes, they look so much better colored in. And it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Mm -hmm. They both still look amazing even though they look different. The most important thing is <laughs> to have fun. To have fun and to practice. Practice. Now we still need to do, well, I like your sunglasses. <laughs> We still need to open up our Polly Pocket toys, don't we? Yes. All right, let's fast forward again so we can show our art friends the little toys inside. All right, we got it all opened up. We got we have our little flamingo floating thing, and yes. we also have what was this snowball surprise? Yeah. And it looks like a snow globe. Look at that. It looks like it's got this little clear part that opens up and then we also got oh this the igloo, igloo was open and look inside there's a little snowman, snowman inside <laughs> but this thing stands like this and then you can also bring down the stairs like that Whoa. isn't that cool and there's a little front door and then what's up here in this little hidden spot up here a toilet. Oh, it's a toilet <laughs> You know what's really cool about about these uh, Polly Pocket things? It, our table, I think, is made out of the same material, but they look at how they stand easily stand and up they because kind of stick on the yeah, floor. it's called Smart Stick. It sticks to our table because I think our table is made out heart. of the same stuff. But it sticks. Look at that. It sticks to the to the little thing like inside. On this one, it's that's like, a snowboard. Look at that. It's like it's it, it kind of feels like a magnet, doesn't it? Boop. <laughs> like wiggle. Wait, it doesn't come off. Look, shake. Uh, it's still stuck on there. <laughs> I think that makes it so much more fun to play with because they stick to the different things. So like she could she could jump on the <laughs> jump on the bed inside there. <laughs> sticks on the bed. Yeah, and you could even stick her look to that heart right there. Try to stick her inside on that heart. And then she'll stand up. Yes, look at that, and she's stuck. She won't move, she's stuck on there. <laughs> oh, and look at the little fireplace in there. We could close it. Can we close it? Close the... oh, it's off. It's off. The fire's off, now it's on. <laughs> then she could also go inside of the little uh, ski lift. And, yeah. and close it. <laughs> and then you could just move her. Move yeah. her up and down. <laughs> and then I really like the swimming, the, the floating flamingo too, because it's got, look at this Is hidden. Is that a well, there's this hidden hot tub in here, and there's also a little chair, and look at this. This pops up. Look at that. It's like a little tiki bar where you can get your uh, fun little uh, milkshakes. And right here, <laughs> you can close Oh, this. it is a waterfall. Look at that. Put put her inside there. Just put, put, put one of them inside. Snow guy in there. Snow person. And then you can spin it, and then she's behind the waterfall. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And she can also go inside there, her little changing room or closet or is shower. I think that's it. <laughs> and this is a, room. look at this, this is a diving board up here. She can, can stick. stick on the diving board. <laughs> I think that's so cool, this little thing. Now, the cool thing also is that it comes with these extra stickers. Now, you can put this anywhere. You can put these on your closet, in your closet, on your dresser. And then they can stick. Yeah, and then they can stick. So we could put, it's a little like sticker. Almost, look at this. We're going to put it on your hand, on the back side of your hand. Boop. And then we can put... Boop. And then she's stuck on your hand. <laughs> I love it. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right. And then the last little one that we got is the musical one. It looks like a star. It, look, it looks like a locket. Isn't that cool? And oh, even yeah. comes with the little thing that you can connect to the bottom right here so that you can connect it to your backpack. Like that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? And then when you open it up inside is oh i can't open it there we go <laughs> <laughs> it's a little turntable and it turns into a uh, a uh, keyboard and then look at this the drum set pops up 
And then you can put somebody in there. You put one of your dolls in there. There's a little and then you microphone. can close it. Yeah, the microphone goes inside. Oh. But I think my favorite is the little teeny guitar case. Oh my goodness, can it's so small. It? I don't think I can. Here, Here we go. Try. I bet you could do it. You try. Oh. There you go, you got it. Now, this, look at, oh, oh my. Look so how tiny. small that is. It's so teeny. Maybe yeah, you gotta be careful that it's a choking hazard, but it's so much fun. Mrs. Hobbs is gonna lose her mind, and then you can close it up. I think she, yeah, she's dying to play with these. And you got your little guitar inside of the case, so it's got a little latch. Open the latch, and then inside is the teeny little guitar. <laughs> I'm going to put one of these on my hand too so I can get one of the little poly pockets to stick to my hand. There we go. And then, which one? I'm going to put her on my hand. Oh, stuck. There we go. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing poly pocket with us and also watching us open up the surprise that Mattel sent us. Yeah. And we want to thank, we especially want to thank Mattel for sending us a cute little poly pocket. <laughs> Mrs. Hubs is going to lose her mind. We got to go play with her. She's going to have fun. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, we can have a battle. Oh, I lost. <laughs> Let's battle again. All right. Three, two, one. Battle. Oh, I lost. you're the champion. <laughs>